Hello, my name is Ed Villarreal. I am the Solutions Architect for Contact Center Enterprise for Worldwide Technology. And I wanted to spend a few minutes to go through the new reporting option available within Contact Center Express 9.0. Now, 9.0 has not been fully has not been released yet, but uh, I do have my hands on a beta copy and I've I've gone through the uh, the new reporting option and I wanted uh, to spend a few minutes on it. So, uh, there is now a new version of reporting that is available. It is called Cisco Unified Intelligence Center, or CUIC for short. Now, CUIC is a, a web-based tool. Um, it is, uh, it's web-based. It's uh, the new reporting platform, and it is highly customizable. I'll go in, and there's, there's a, uh, quite a bit of new features available in the reporting platform. Um, now, one thing I will say is that uh, the historical reporting client and CUIC are available in this 9.x release that will be coming out. Um, it, I, I'm, I'm assuming that in future releases the historical reporting client will go away and in the 9.x release you can only use one or the other. You cannot use both reporting clients. So let me log in here. I wanted to show you uh, how to switch to the new reporting client. Now, uh, when you do log in, what you'll see is there's a uh, historical reporting uh, report configuration option now. And what this allows you to, to do is switch between the HRC and CUIC. Now here I've already selected CUIC and clicked update. When you do do that, uh, it takes a few minutes. It goes through a process of, of migrating users and other things. Um, and it and it configures CUIC. Uh, you can still go back to HRC if you want, uh, but I'm going to just leave it at that uh, right now. Now, the other th question that that I'm sure is is coming up is how do you uh, or how are users configured for this uh, new reporting platform? They are configured in exactly the same way. So as you go to this reporting capability view, you will see the exact same screens in here that were in the previous version. So you will search for an available user, you'll pull them over, and uh, they will now have access to the CUIC platform. All right, so let's go back over here to the reporting client. So they do have a link here, a launch CUIC link that is uh, uh, here on this reporting configuration screen. So you can click on that. Once you once you know what the URL is here, it's it's actually the IP address or name of the server, colon 8444 slash CUIC. You can put that as a bookmark or um, some type of favorite. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and log in. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I, I did have myself listed there as a user, so I will put my I will log in. I will log in here, and you're going to see that the interface is is uh, different than the other other Cisco products out there. Now, uh, like I said, this this CUIC platform is is uh, is actually going to be used across all the contact center uh, products. So, enterprise has had this CUIC for about uh, for over a year now. Uh, actually, they. They uh, first came out with something called CUIS, which was uh, the immediate precursor to CUIC, uh, and then it came out with, and then they came out with CUIC. So CUIC has is been in in uh, available in uh, enterprise for since version 7.5 or so. Uh, and so the, this, is, uh, this is the new reporting platform for enterprise, and it's the only reporting platform for enterprise now. And I, like I said before, I expect this to be the only reporting platform av available for uh, Express in the near future. So on the left-hand side, uh, you're going to see here, uh, you're going to see all the drawers, as, as Cisco calls them. Uh, and on the right side, you'll see the data along with the tabbed interface along the top. And I'll show you how that works in just a second. So you'll see we're on the in overview tab right now, and that gives you a quick link to a lot of these different sections here, but I'm not going to mess around with that too much. I'm going to first select dashboards. Now this is one of the new components for Express that wasn't available in the historical reporting client. Um, you'll see that you can actually come in here and create your own dashboards, which can be made up of, of either widgets or reports, or you can put other notes and other things on there. Again, it's a really good starting point for an application for, for uh, maybe a supervisor to see what's going on to manage the, the call center. 
Uh, again, like I said, I only put a couple of, I threw a couple of widgets in here real quick. Uh, but you can also include in here reports and other things. And what I'm thinking is I'll, I'll go into, I'll create another video which goes into more detail on creating your own dashboards and adding other components in there. So the next component in here, the next drawer in here are the reports. And you'll see that the stock reports, and you'll see it as I click on here, it actually brings these reports, uh, the list of reports, out in this main content area and you'll also notice that it creates a tab for every single time I, I press a button on here so you'll see if I need to go back to dashboards I can go there if I need to close that out I can if I need to go back to my uh, my dashboard that I opened I can go back over there if I need to go back to reports I can do that uh, they included all the reports that were in the old historical reporting client they have chat email inbound outbound system chat is actually something new for this version but I won't go into detail there um, I'll, I'll focus on inbound right here and what you'll see is that these are pretty much uh, uh, reports that are replicated from the uh, standard HRC client. So uh, for example, if I wanted to run this CSQ report, which is a, common, a commonly used report, it's going to pop up with the criteria for that report. So I'm just going to put in maybe like the month, for example. Uh, you do have to put in full date and month. I'm sorry, full date and time. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in there, and then you also do have to select the interval. So I'm gonna select the 30 minute interval here, and then you have to select the CSQ you want to uh, view. And I just have sales in here. So I'm gonna go up the top and run this. It's gonna show all the data that's in there for that month. Uh, it's gonna break it down, like I said, by a 30 minute interval. Uh, there's not a whole bunch of data in here. I haven't made a whole bunch of calls. I just I wanted to focus on the CUIC client itself. But you'll see that the, the same data that you would normally see in the HRC client is going to be here. Now, there is a, a, this is very powerful in the sense that you can go back and, and if you do the, a save as, you can go then and customize this, uh, either adding fields or removing fields and making some other uh, threshold changes and other things. And I think what I'll do there is I will go and make another video on some detail around customizing reports because I'm sure that's of great interest to a lot of people out there. Uh, there's also the option to go in here and to generate different reports uh, using the same underlying data. So if I, I went and selected a different view as they call them here, it's going to show me a chart for that same period of time. Uh, obviously the, the scale of this is much larger so you really can't see a lot of the detail in here. There's also the ability to export or pop this window out into another one. You can refresh it. You can change the filter prior, uh, parameters or uh, print it from here. There's also the ability to uh, perform a, uh, there's also the help here, which will allow you to see, again, what the makeup of these reports is, how, how are these fields calculated and all of that. Uh, one thing that you'll notice is that you can also create your own folders. So as you create a folder in here, you can populate it with, with different reports. For example, if I want to create a folder just for my sales organization, I can go and customize a report, an inbound report, save that in my sales folder, and now my all my sales um, people that I want to have access to this report, uh, they can now have access to it. And so it's it's really convenient there. There's no more uh, of you know taking a, a XML file and copying it over to various uh, HRC clients. So. Uh, so it's much easier to to uh, to share those reports at this time. Now, one thing I, I I don't think I shared with you, but one one issue I do see with this is that they are all based on actual dates, uh, dates and times. All these reports that I've gone through. Now, the issue here that I see is that um, in scheduling. So normally you would have also something a relative date function. So I could say give me the data for yesterday and it would automatically do the calculation of what was yesterday's date or you could say last week or last month you know you have a relative perspective there now um, it's not a real big deal if you're if you're in here running reports on a daily basis but if you want to use for example the scheduler it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to run those reports that don't have relative dates because you're only running it for um, the date that was originally selected. Uh, and so it, I don't know how much value it's going to add. I don't know if, if Cisco is planning on changing that. Now, one component I don't see in here that's available in the premium version on Enterprise 
is the report definition drawer and usually it's right here underneath the reports and the report definition allows you to change the underlying um, SQL statement and the summarization for a report or a series of reports that is not in there I'm, I'm expecting that Cisco will probably sell a premium version of this that will have that included but again for right now I don't see it listed in there which which means that there is no easy way of creating your own reports from scratch there's also data sources in here and really this is pretty limited in the way that they have this this uh, uh, enabled in here what they what they're showing here is pretty much what it's connected to what databases it's connected to it's con connected to the express server and CUIC now you can't change it you can't edit you can't add it so really there's I don't even know why they display this data sources in here they should just hide it if they don't plan on letting you change anything alright so another piece in here another really interesting piece in here is the value list and what you'll see in here is this a li this is a list of if I select this and I click on values it's going to show me what the what the values are right here it's only showing up one but this could be sales service uh, HR whatever uh, it could be a list of all of those CSQ names in there for example um, so when you go and you run reports this is the list that's that's generated or that's generating the list within the report the 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 filter criteria within that report so for example when I went over here and I look at the CSQ names here it is actually pulling it from this value list and so where the power comes in there is that you can generate you can create your own you can create your own value list and then associate that to a specific uh, to a specific report um, you can also use your own collections and collection is really cool because let's for example uh, a collection is is basically a subset or a filtered value list so it allows you to create your own subset of data based upon either an identifier, a wild card, or values. Now what I've done before is I've used a wild card. So let's say for example we want to, uh, maybe the this customer has a whole bunch of sales related queues. Maybe they have a sales one, a sales two, a sales three. And you want to create a collection for that. Well you could create your own wild card by entering sales for example and then your wild card which is your percent sign. Um, actually it's a it's the asterisk on this version so you can do this would pick up anything with sales uh, and anything after it so again if you want to use that as a as a um, uh, collection you can do that and I'll show you these are actually the collections. so if I was to create a collection it would show right up in here and it would automatically filter uh, create a filter uh, populate this filtered list based upon the collection that I choose now, uh, one of the last pieces in here is, is security. So, uh, overall in, C, in, in the CYC for enterprise, the security is pretty advanced, letting you um, provide uh, secured access t down to the individual report or um, even value lists or uh, all the different components allow you to um, enable security on them so you can limit the access. In, in CYC for Express, they seem to have dumbed it down a little bit. So really the only thing you can do is you can, tell, you can say, well, I have a user in here, but I don't want them to be able to, to change any of the reports. So you can take the, the report definition or value list uh, collection designer or report designer or dashboard designer. Um, if they don't have those, then they don't have the ability to change anything in there. Uh, which is which is good for for a lot of users, but again, it's 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 really kind of limited in the security that it enables. Uh, and lastly, there's a scheduler. So the scheduler uh, allows you to uh, schedule these reports. And actually, if you go into the reports piece here, you can actually right click on these and click on the schedule button and you could schedule this report. Like I said before, without having relative dates, the scheduling is pretty useless. So I wouldn't even worry about, about um, the scheduling component until they get that enabled. So that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to plan on a couple of additional uh, videos to talk about dashboards. 
also customization of reports. Uh, so, uh, so hopefully uh, we'll all have those out pretty soon. And uh, let me know of any uh, feedback you have on these uh, on these videos. I'd, I'd love to hear any feedback that you may have. Thank you very much.